Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Peter Victor. So I introduced something known as uh, my five minutes. So this is will be done in less than five minutes. Figure two point one shows the effect of pH on the rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction, K and M. What term is given to pH at A, J and L? So the pH at J and L is known as optimum pH. Optimum pH. Explain why the rate of reaction K and M goes down after point J and L. Why does it go down there and there just after J and L? Why? Because because the enzymes are denatured. In biology, go straight to the point. The enzymes are denatured. Name the regions of the alimentary canal where reaction K and M uh, take place. Look at K. Look at K. K is acidic. When you look at the concentration, eh? the pH concentration, anything from 0 to seven to 6, it's acidic. So, reaction K can only occur in the stomach, right? Because in the stomach, it's acidic. Then M, when uh, anything above 7 is alkaline. So since reaction M is 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 alkaline, this can occur in the mouth or in the duodenum as well. So just one enzyme which can catalyze reaction M. When we look at M, we're saying M occurs in the mouth. So reaction M can actually be catalyzed by the enzyme known as uh, amylase. Others they call it amylase. Name state one full nutrient which can be catalyzed by any reaction k now the action k occurs in the stomach like we, like we said one of the food nutrients that can be catalyzed uh, in reaction k is the the proteins 32 factors other than ph which affect enzyme activity one of them is temperature substrate concentration Question 2. Figure 3.1 shows a cross section through a stem of a plant which had been previously dipped in a red dye for 6 hours. So the best, the best what you can do, I'm quick. So you can pause the video, pause like that. A1, identify the parts N, P, Q. N, you've seen that N, it's something like this. Then N is passing like the middle. So that's the cambium. Alright, that's the cambium. P, when you look at P, P, it's outside. Right from the pith, it's outside. So P, we call it the phloem. Right. Then Q, which is inside, we call it the xylem. Which labeled part in Figure three point one would be stained red? It's the which labeled part? Don't name the name. Just the Q. Q is a xylem. The xylem is responsible for carrying of. Uh, uh, liquid substance like water and the dyes so it can be stained with the dye. Give a reason for answer. I've already explained. All right. Q carries what dyes uh, through water. All right. Suggest so three factors that would increase the rate of movement of the dye in the stem. One of them is temperature. Humidity, wind speed. Name the process that will cause the movement of the lead dye in the stem. Now, the lead dye can only move is uh is either by capillary action, diffusion, or osmosis. Now, since we are take, we are talking of um uh a dye here, and the dye is in is in liquid form. You can use osmosis or diffusion. Right, because we know that the osmosis is just a special type of diffusion. So thanks so much for watching us in the next video.